Back to the Acoustic Chop channel. My name is John. Today we are here with a guy named Jeremy. Actually, our real names, this is Jonathan and Jeremiah. We go by John and Jeremy. Oh. And I have known this fellow my entire life. Really? And he's known me all but two years. All of his, his. entire life. Anyway, what we're going to be doing today is a very interesting thing. We are going to be deciding whether or not an all solid wood guitar sounds better than a not all solid wood or a laminate sides and back with a solid top. So we're going to be doing that comparison and we're going to be doing that right when we come back. So this is a, uh, a argument that's been going around forever, obviously. Laminate woods versus solid woods. What makes for a better sounding acoustic instrument? And before we get into all those details, I would like to implore you, if you haven't beg already. you, whatever it takes to make sure that you have subscribed to this channel, hit that uh, like button, and also go ahead and ding that little bell over there. That way you're notified every time we come up with a new video for you guys to watch. If you love acoustic instruments, this is, should be the place that you hang out. So We, we got listed as one of the top five uh, acoustic-centric nah, channels to watch true. on YouTube. It's not true. Yes, and it's very honorable. Okay, well, there, maybe We have a lot true. of fun with this, and we're going to do this comparison, laminate versus solid back and sides. We're, both of these have a solid top. I, a lot of things people are sometimes not tuned into is a lot of guitar manufacturers, they don't want to point out that it's a laminate back and sides, so they'll just say... Mahogany. Yeah, mahogany or, you know, sapele or Spruce. rosewood. You know, if it doesn't say solid, then it probably isn't solid. It's going to be a Let, laminate. Let's let's back that up a little bit. And, and before we get into this detail, I forgot one more thing that we were supposed to talk about, Jer. If you do not want to hear us talk about all this kind of stuff, there's a link down below to skip all the way to the comparison video where we go back and forth between these. Also, if you want to hear an entire performance of these two guitars, there is a video of that where we have played in the suite by and by. So you can check that out with a link down below. But you had a, an interesting thing, which you said, if they don't say solid on it, it I have a, a little bit of a caveat to that. Okay. I'm thinking like four or $5,000 guitars. If they say mahogany on there, it's most likely going to be a solid. It's solid. One. It's I, I would say the, it's more in the price point of the sub $1,000, yeah. $500 especially. It's kind of like manufactured hardwood. You know, They don't want to say that this is sawdust and, and a thin veneer on top I, of it. I it's, love manufactured hardwood. It is a way of not pointing out to the customer that you are getting a basically plywood. Again, they didn't it's want to plywood. say plywood either. Mm -hmm. It's a laminate. So it's got a really thin veneer. And we're talking thin. We're talking like a real paper thin. And then inside there, they know I have a slightly thicker layer. And this is another disti distinction. Some manufacturers will use the same wood. So if it is mahogany, it'll be a very thin veneer of mahogany, a slightly thicker piece of mahogany, and then another veneer on the inside of mahogany. Some of them on the least expensive ones will use just whatever cheap wood they can is sandwiched in the middle of that. So you'll Birch, have, you have uh, the mahogany and then they, they call it white wood. So yeah, any times. wood that is white and <laughs> was on sale, we'll fit the, in there. That's right. whoever had a bunch of the so mill, that's what we're going to use. Let's talk about the three terms that, uh, that people are using a lot. Like you said, um, plywood is actually what it is, plies of wood. Uh, we also hear this used a lot uh, on manufacturers as uh, laminated which is also laminated pieces of wood together, or the new term that I'm seeing a lot lately is layered. And originally that was meant to mean that all the layers were the exact same, but I'm actually seeing manufacturers now kind of skirting around that a little bit, so be careful with the word layered too, because again, it's layered pieces of wood in deal. Now, here's the good thing about plywood or laminates or layered, however you want to say it, is it's usually cross grain. So we do one with one grain, then we got opposite grain, and then another layer opposite of that. It's extremely strong. And the comparison I make a lot of times for customers is, if you were building stairs, 
Plywood is a wonderful thing to have because it's three layers of wood that are resisting against each other. It's stronger. They have glue That's layers glue. in between it to make sure it's sandwiched and very hard and very stiff and very wonderful for stepping on. I, I know a lot of guitar builders, but also woodworkers. I, I, I'm on some Facebook woodworkers really? uh, pages. I am. It's well, a lot of fun to watch. But most of them will say a glued joint is actually stronger than the natural piece of uh, like a solid Absolutely. piece of wood. It's got more strength to it. And when you do that layering and cross graining, even more so, you're getting all that, uh, a little more flexibility, but also keeping it stronger. So if a guitar dries and cracks, it may follow the grain line of the veneer, but that inside one it isn't on connected yet. It's not yeah. gonna go the other direction, so. Absolutely. So it is a stronger one. Uh, I, it, there is benefits to laminate. Here's where the downside comes. We're talking about acoustic instruments. It needs to flex and it needs to move. And again, three layers opposing each other are not going to flex and move to make the sound waves that you are listening to with your ear, like a solid piece of wood is going to do. Again, think about an acoustic instrument like a speaker cone. I use this analogy a lot as, as well. The speaker cone is creating the sound waves that we get to get to our ears that turn into the sound that we hear. And again, a solid piece of wood is going to make bigger, better sound waves than a laminate piece is going to be able to do. It's just got more resonance. Yeah, absolutely. So it makes sense that there should be a difference in here. Now, again, what a lot of manufacturers now do is to keep that cost down, they will do laminated back and sides, solid spruce top. Since a big portion of your tone and sound is coming from the sound board or the top of the guitar, it does definitely benefit of, all of being a solid wood. So you will see that again. I definitely recommend when you're buying your beginner instrument to start with at least a solid top laminate. Uh, you can probably back see the biggest difference. Maybe we should do that in a future video. If you get a laminate top, they just do not want to flex. You know, you're losing a lot of tone. They sound, of sound pretty dead. Mm -hmm. So a uh, laminate side and back is acceptable. And actually, in some cases, like you mentioned, if you're a younger student, like a kid or something, you got a lot more strength out of this uh, laminated back and sides than you would out of a solid guitar. Absolutely. If they're not caring for it with the humidifying it well, they're going to put up with a little bit more abuse. And a big advantage is cost. It's cheaper for yeah, them absolutely. to manufacture with just a thin veneer than it is to get a solid piece of uh, mahogany or rosewood. So that's why most inexpensive guitars, starter guitars, are going to be a laminate back and sides. Absolutely. Definitely upgrade to the t solid top if at all possible. Yep. And then we get to the all solids, um, which is what I'm holding here right now. Solid back and sides. It is going to continue to, again, to be more flexible. Now, again, it's, the back and sides do not move near as much as that top does but it does make a difference. Uh, well, we're gonna find out. Maybe it doesn't, who knows? But uh, it, that has definitely been the argument uh, of all manufacturers for many years. We go through the all laminate, laminate with a solid top, and then we're gonna go to an all solid wood guitar. So here's what we did today. We got the same manufacturer, Eastman Builds, both a inexpensive uh, all solid wood guitar, as well as a uh, laminate sides and back and solid top. Now. We have a little bit of a caveat with this particular test today because the only thing that came out for right now, there has been some uh, of these guitars that are coming out with thermo cured tops. So we're going to see if that makes a little bit of a difference in yeah, here. This is um, the PCH, but just because of, uh, I guess, lack of wood, they've already thermo cured some tops and used those on the PCHs. So got a huge bonus to somebody. They yeah. got like a $400 upgrade to their guitar that started at about that price. So. Uh, but the, for apples to apples, that is a little bit of an advantage. There is a little the bit. So we do want to definitely point that out. But it's that said, it should also kind of give us a really good view since these are very similar built guitars just with the different wood choices. And uh, you'll be able to kind of hear the difference between the two. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a blind test between an all solid wood guitar and a laminate sides and back from the same manufacturer, same and shape, with same Eastman, everything. I don't know other manufacturers are going to be different, but any that just says Eastman on the headstocks all solid wood, correct? That is correct. And then this one like has the PCH. PCH. That, that is their only series that will have a laminated. Now, that said, used to be a long time ago that there were available uh, laminate uh, guitars that did say Eastman on them, but those have been since discontinued. So if you're looking for a brand new guitar right now and you are wanting to compare, excuse me, uh, the difference between solids and uh, you will know that an Eastman branded one will be all solid versus a uh, laminate for the PCHs. So let's get to the big test. <laughs> we 
Well, there you have it, Jeremy. There is a uh, comparison between a all solid wood guitar and the laminated sides and back. I definitely felt there was a fairly significant was, yeah, difference. One of the mo more dramatic differences of our reviews. We've done seven Tony Rice style large sound hole guitars. They're a little subtle. We did neck joints. We did a sinker mahogany versus regular mahogany. I think the most clear and uh, concise concise yeah. difference was between a laminate guitar and an all solid wood. Now and you it, guys may argue with this, right? and that's fine. That doesn't You'll mean be wrong, that, that's not a good option but... for you. Sometimes <laughs> price point makes a big decision, especially if it's the first guitar. You don't know whether you're going to stick with it. You don't know how much you're going to be into it. If you can get a good quality, easy playing instrument that has a laminate sides and back, which takes the cost it's down. It's a great option. Quite a bit, yeah, a really good option. Then, if you really enjoy it, we've talked about this before, it's the reward for all the practice to upgrade to an all solid wood guitar. You'll really appreciate it probably even more then than you would have as a brand new instrument. Absolutely. I think, uh, so for me, tone difference uh, straight away. I think actually both of them seem to compare very similar in the volume and, uh, and the sustain. They both had a lot, of, a lot of both, but where it really made the difference was in the tone. There was a lot more roundness and fullness to the all solid wood guitar. I imagine if we had a spectrum analyzer, um, that laminate side back one's almost like everything's like right here in the middle, mm -hmm. uh, where this one just has much broader, even range throughout that. And it, it just seems like that one, like you said, volume seems very similar. It just doesn't have the fullness, ton, the tonal richness. range mm -hmm. that you will get with this one, the yep. solid wood. And, and that also helped, I think, with the individual string stuff. I mean, you listen. <laughs> Pretty strong. Yeah, pretty I mean, difference. that's a strong. Well, now again, where I think it actually stand up more was, you know, in that mid range. Perfect, Jeremy you did it great. One note off. But uh, when you're practicing and you're first learning it, you're going to be doing more like. So maybe drive. you're not really looking at tone as a big uh, <laughs> influence in your purchase. No. At the beginning, playability is probably the most important thing when you're first getting your first guitar. You want the action to be set well where it's not too difficult to play and you're getting a good tone out of it. In these two guitars, that was where they definitely were very, very comparable. Uh, a little bit uh, thinner neck, I believe, on this one versus that one, but overall, they played extremely similar. Uh, a great, so it all comes down to where you can set that budget point. I've said this to a lot of customers. You wanna figure out what your budget is, push it as much as you can, because you will gain some things there. And yes, the tone does make you feel happier when you play the guitar. It is one of those things that will keep you inspired to keep working. Um, anything that we can do to keep you motivated as a player is definitely worthwhile. So if it's, whether it's the looks, whether it's the playability, whether it's the tone, uh, all those things are all gonna stack up to keep you uh, motivated to play. And if it sounds a little bit better, you may want to keep it up there. There's not a dramatic price difference between these two, so if you can wait a few more months and save up a little extra, it's definitely worth it tonally to get the all solid wood. If it's something where you think this is the budget I have, uh, there's not no reason option. not to go with it. Make sure you're getting a solid top. That's where you're going to see the difference. If you get a guitar that's less expensive than that and it's got a laminate top, you'll probably regret that purchase. But I think a, sol or a laminate side and back, not a bad option. Yep, there you go. So there you go, solids versus laminates. We definitely think that it is definitely a worthwhile thing to get an all solid wood guitar. So tell us what you guys think down in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you guys, and also if you guys have any other ideas of things that you would like us to compare, um, we'll definitely put it under consideration. Some of the things you guys Somebody have offered. Somebody suggested apples uh, versus oranges. So they weren't such great ideas. Apples versus oranges. I hear it's an age old comparison yeah. that we're going to. Get no, to the bottom. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Anyway, we will see you next time. Thank you all for jo uh, joining us. And like I said, we will see you on the next video.
And we really appreciate you guys watching that video. It was my favorite one we've made so far. We've, we've done hundreds of videos, and that was the best one. It was. And the next one's going to be even better. If you'd like to see that, <laughs> be sure you subscribe to this channel. And also, the more you comment and inter interact below, the more the YouTube algorithms pick it up and start pushing it out to other people, like-minded people. Algorithms? Algorithms. They're everywhere. They permeate the internet, and YouTube's got one. And it watches our videos, and it sees how much you comment, and then it pushes us to other people like you. And we want everyone to experience the, the acoustic shop world where we talk about instruments, we do reviews, we got some fun videos coming up. We thank you guys so much for being a part of it, and we'll see you on the next video.